Hi, this video is how to fix the error code 105 if you have a new employee or a new data folder and possibly made some changes in permissions. So if you take a look at the screen, we have point open, we have a fake loan here. Um, the originator that I'm going to be acting as today, well, part of it, is going to be John Smith. He has his NMLS license, which is fake. Um, if you notice here, it says John T. Smith, so that's going to be important later on. All right, so here we have the fake loan. I'm not going to go through filling out all the information, but kind of the most important parts. In this case, we're going to use John as the originator, so just say John typed in his name here. He went to save the file, test123, name doesn't really matter, hit save. So we get the error code 105. All right, so in order to fix that, typically they'll need to actually, the user will need to actually click on this drop down and they should see their full name there. If they don't, then that's something that the admin needs to fix. So we're gonna go ahead and close at a point. No, we don't need to save any changes. Yep, I know. All right, so what we can do inside of Point Central is go to data folders, list data folders, and on the data folder that the user is saving to, press the edit button. In this case, it was active leads. All right, so we have the managers group here, which has full permissions. And then we have the assigned loans only. The name doesn't matter all that much, but the permission matters, particularly this one. All loans gives access to all loans. This originator processors loans only gives access to only names in the dropdown. So if a user's name is John T. Smith and that name's not in the dropdown, he's not going to see any loans. <clears throat> okay, so then we would need to figure out who's in the managers group. To do that, quick and easy way is to go to reports, groups, user members, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just pull it up. Okay, this is going to a user and pressing edit. This user is in the managers group. So we're going to go ahead and just pretend now that we're that user and let's go ahead and log into point. So here in point, if we do just a blank search, we're going to see those do test. We can open them up. Okay, we don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, okay, well, we can fix that later on. Not a big deal. So as the admin, what we need to do is we can go to users, list users, find the user in question, press edit. Okay, so this is the name that they have which matches their fake NMLS, John T. Smith. Little important note, if it's John T. period Smith, that period needs to be there. I would suggest using whatever is on their NMLS license across the board. Makes it a whole lot easier. So inside of point, we're gonna go to the data folder in question, go to utilities, drop down list, originator. Gonna go ahead and add that originator. And then if there's a state and license number, you can add that here. Ooh, Alaska, cool. All right, press okay. All right, so now that's there. Name is correct, matches their NMLS license, along with their name inside of Point Central. The name should match across the board. Press okay. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to reservations, and delete these two reservations. And then we should be able to access these files. Perfect. Okay. So if we select John T. Smith, but then we're gonna go ahead and save it. And then we're gonna go ahead and close back out of this loan. And now you see that the originator has the name there. Let's go ahead and check this one out. 
like it. So I'm not going to add anything here. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of the loan. Didn't make any changes. All right. So in the Active Leads folder, we now have two different loans. One is has the dropdown filled out correctly. One does not. Then we're going to go ahead and close back out of point and reopen it. Now we're going to go ahead and be acting as a user again. Okay, so point is open. As a user, I'm going to go ahead and do a search. We can see that John T. Smith's file, or the originator John T. Smith's. The user cannot go in and edit these unless you give them permission, which it could cause a whole lot of trouble. It is this permission if you want to give the user access to change it, but I don't suggest that. It could potentially lead to some security flaws. Okay, so then if we go here, do another borrower loan, new blank file, All right, so Mr. This is fake. We're gonna go ahead and do that. A social security number, which doesn't matter. There we go, that sounds like a good. All right, and then if we hit the safe button, no more error. But one thing I did, pretty much as soon as I open up the loan, is added name to drop down. So as long as the originator will log in to the loan, like go create a new loan, add the name, that will get rid of many of the error codes. And if we close out of here, we will see those two files. Thanks for watching.